Want to make some 4th of July sugar cookies with me? First, I have to find the cookie cutters in this mess. Wish me luck. <laughs> so I'm thinking about doing a USA and uh, some banners, like the ones that you put on your front porch, those half moon banners and some stars. Um, those banners I think are really cool. And I have never owned any. And I think it's because I've never had like a old school front porch before with steps, but I've always seen them. And I come from Chicago where people always put those in the front porches. So that's kind of what I have in my mind. So um, I'm rolling out my cookie dough. It's about half an inch thick. I like thicker cookie uh, sugar cookies just because it, it makes them a little bit softer on the inside. I don't know if you've ever had a really thin sugar cookie. It was big your cookie lady was trying to make that cookie dough stretch. So I mean, give her a break. But for me, I like it when they're a little bit thicker because you have softness on the inside and they're not too crunchy. I like these sugar cookies, honestly, without any icing on them. To me, they taste like Nilla wafers and I think they're delicious on their own. So at the end here, you'll see me making just one extra cookie just for myself with the remaining dough because that's usually what happens is you're left with a tiny little ball at the end. And um, he, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my time putting them on the cookie tray, obsessing over how they're going to look <laughs> once they're baked. And also these don't spread too much, so they can sit pretty close to each other. I'm going to put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes so that they don't spread, like I was saying, and then um, bake at 400 degrees for about seven minutes. Once they're out, I can let them cool about mm, 10 minutes. And look at this beautiful heat pad. Don't you just love that? It says Idaho on it. And a friend of mine gave it to me as a Christmas gift saying, welcome to your new Idaho home. That's one of those fun things that people here say. And I just thought it was the sweetest gift. And I love her and I love it. And I just thought, you know what? I'm going to put it in my video. Uh, there's that one little cookie I made for myself. Yeah, that's for me. <laughs> And um, if I, you want to just let these cool on the counter, take maybe an hour, I put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes so that I can immediately start decorating because I was excited. It's 4th of July. It's coming up. It's summertime. It's beautiful outside. Why not? And um, here is the banner that I was talking about, that front porch banner. And I'm going to do kind of like a rainbow uh, pattern with one color after the other. And then I'm going to take a toothpick and then just drag it up so that it kind of makes the waves in the banner. And I think that makes it look kind of fun and a little different and you know, it just kind of gets out your creative, uh, you know, feeling, I don't know, creative desires. <laughs> Anyways, on the stars, I'm going to do uh, a corner on the bigger stars. I'm going to have a corner of blue and then uh, do kind of like the little dots inside to symbolize the stars on the flag. And then for the rest of the star, I'm just going to do red and white stripes. And then on the smaller stars, that's the bigger one. On the smaller one, I'm going to do just a half blue, half stripes kind of theme. I thought it would give it kind of just a little bit of dimension and difference so that you can see the cookies in all different sizes and know that each one is a different design and it's all not just a bunch of the same. When you're using the same three colors on all your cookies, you want to have it just a little bit different with each cookie. And on the USA, I'm going to do the U in all blue with the white dots to symbolize the stars again. And then on the S and the A, I'm going to do red and white stripes so that when it's all laid out next to each other, it kind of looks like the flag. I don't know, just something fun. These are just for home and it's not a big deal. And on that U, you'll see at the very end of the video, my daughter reached in to grab one of the cookies when I was you know, fumbling with my phone and it was just a quick little kerfuffle and she grabbed it quickly and I told her, let go, those are for my video. And at the end, you'll see how it's all smashed up. And these are just for home, it's fine. But oh my goodness, with kids, it's one of those fun things. This is how they came out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and take a look at what my daughter did to that you. Isn't it glorious? Anyways, thank you so much. Happy 4th of July.